What is going on guys? Gray here today. I'd like to talk about two big things we learned uh, from yesterday's Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer reveal. The first thing being Sledgehammer finally confirmed yesterday afternoon after the reveal was over that there will be an FOV slider on console. Now they did not confirm if it's going to be just for new gen or if it's going to be for new and old gen. They did say there will be an FOV slider at launch, which makes it sound like we probably won't be seeing the FOV slider during the beta. Uh, we didn't get to see the uh, FOV slider in the Champion Hill Alpha, so I'm assuming that's why they said at launch. It's probably not going to be in the beta version of the game that we're going to get to play, but they have confirmed there will be an FOV slider. Like I said, the only thing they did not confirm is whether it will be on old gen and new gen. I'm not quite sure why they couldn't put it on old gen. A lot of people are speculating it's going to be just on Xbox Series S, X, and PS5. But if you think back to Cold War, of course, Cold War has a FOV slider on old gen platforms as well as new gen platforms. So I'm not quite sure why the FOV slider is kind of only being mentioned right now for new generation consoles. But we'll kind of have to just wait and see if they give us any more info on that to let us know for sure whether it's going to be just on new generation or if it's going to be on all or available on all generation platforms uh, when the game is released. Another thing they talked about which is something I think a lot of people in the community are not going to like, and that is the return of the minimap from Modern Warfare 2019. Now, most of you probably remember this. It was a big kind of thing in the community. A lot of people didn't like it because players would not show up as red dots on your minimap if they were firing unsilenced weapons. And a lot of people did not like this because you really didn't know where anyone was at unless you had a UAV up, advanced UAV, that kind of thing. Um, and a lot of people were really not happy with this. And of course, we went through the entire year of Modern Warfare with, with you know, with that option for the minimap there. They never did change it, even though the community complained a lot. And Sledgehammer is going kind of that same route, which a lot of people I don't think are really excited about. The one thing I will say, even though I'm not a big fan of this, and you're going to have to use a perk to be able to get the minimap to be normal, they have actually added a perk in Perk 2 slot, which is called Radar. And this perk will activate the minimap back to what players expected kind of in a normal Call of Duty game, showing red dots on the map for unsilenced gunfire. Now, I'm not sure how a lot of people in the community are going to feel about this. I, I think Sledgehammer probably has learned from probably Infinity Ward's mistake with this. But at the same time, I kind of hate that you're going to have to run a dedicated perk in slot two just to be able to have a normal minimap in the game. I still think that's going to be a bit of a frustration for most players because most players are going to want to run other things. Most players are going to want to have a minimap just like it normally was and be able to run, you know, whatever uh, perks they want in that perks two slot. And I think most people are probably going to be running that radar perk just because, you know, they're used to that radar in Call of Duty. For years and years, we've had that radar where it shows enemies once they shoot an un, uh, unsilenced weapon. Like I said, and it was, this was a big issue, in my opinion, in Modern Warfare. Though. It was a big problem within the community, and people really hated it. So I'm glad at least Sledgehammer has added this perk in. I just kind of hate that we have to, you know, run a perk to have a normal Call of Duty minimap in game. Anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the FOV slider and, of course, about the minimap issues. And, of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and, of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Affiliates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.